come into the league as a Kled. Yes. Like back, back when he was Blomster <laughs> Finn coming in. So I definitely think he's well familiar with honestly, this. Like, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I definitely, it's going to be interesting to see how Photon tries to set up against this. I think Olaf still has a lot of control in those early levels just with the sheer amount of damage. Serious and... danger here. As they look to try and catch him out, there they go, flash in, there's the hook, Kaiser does get a little bit of a CC, gets brought back in by Perks, and that's first blood to the Draven, no stacks this time. In term. Well, I definitely, I feel like you gotta still try and play this matchup aggressive in the bot side, as Bo goes in on towards 113, first move here for Leader though. Leader does get stunned up, we'll see Bo getting caught by the Nature Squad, flashes away from Leader, who's gonna get the absconded duck going in on top of him, no more CC down, but now Leader's in a lot of trouble, and the staff comes down, double kill over to my boy Bo, and he's doing exceptionally well, now Finn on the need to tower, can he trade back? Yes he can, it's a one for one on the top side, Vitality came to play, Wait a a second. down the bot what? side, Kaiser does get hit by the Aqua Prism, but those are some very deadly spinning axes, but at the moment, it does look like it's just going to be the Dragon confirmed because you got bot lane priority. And this is where, again, it's in check. 1-3 is moving up towards here, though. No flash on Photon. We are going to see the charge come out here. And there's going to be the Ragnarok as well. I don't think you got many places to go here, Kled. Photon took a fight he could not win. And Finn says, you know what? I know this matchup pretty damn well. We go towards that bot side. We are going to see the hook land on the Young Hoon. And the AD carries try and juke it out just a little bit. Bo does not have We're hoping to around the style that they picked and snowballing off these big gold advantages. Now it upset. Looks like they might have found a success and they're looking for it for him. They're looking for him. There's going to be the Whirling Dead flash away, but Young Hu means he does not die. They're going to see now the Nautilus has nowhere to go and he goes down. The Rift Herald does get dropped, but I don't think that's going to do much for you here as the Wukong dies as well. Photon flashes over to catch out Leader and trades it back two for one, but it's going to be a three for one in just a second. TP coming in from the Annie. Don't think it's really gonna do much for you. Oh. Photon though as well. Over in the wrong side of the map, he doesn't have anywhere really to be, and that's just gonna be a huge overstep from Vitality. It's deja vu for Vitality as well. This is exactly what happened the first time these teams faced off in the regular split. Over aggression from Vitality, trying to punish Kobe and Jonghoon, and as Travis turned it around, now Perks is in so much trouble! You can't CC him during Ragnarok. It's too big of a festival. He cannot be stopped. One more swing of the axe, and that is going to be a no bot side. But again, Vitality just needs to kind of calm it down, bring it back. You're not behind just yet, and you've got plenty of moving up straight away to make sure that he can toss that one down. Actually, change his mind now, as he does see that the uh, the bot terror will leader. fall first. He does get stunned, does he get caught out? There's gonna be a flash in there from Kaiser to get the ultimate down. Leader's trying to see if he can survive, but he doesn't have the sustain. Upset gets himself some nice little stackaroonies, and that is the Draven very much gonna be online. Still playing the bot side here, Finn no in trouble. Ult. No ult on Finn, no Ragnarok, which means he's just gonna be CC'd underneath the tower, shut down. Dropped in here to this mid lane, it's gonna secure that tier one as well. Thank you, Berlin. No wards, no wards whatsoever. Purse could flash into this bush and they still wouldn't even know he's there. That's how big of a flank this is. Now they catch him out, they're gonna go straight away for the fight. They're gonna have the Malkai ultimate to disengage. Perks isn't quite there, but he finds two men on the backside. Kobe does end up getting the cleanse, the flash away, and the Annie is dead. It's a two for one trade. He was just a little too late on the play. Perks just couldn't find his man quick enough. A vitality end up getting collapsed on Bo, though, still trying to go in for this. Finding Kobe in the box lane. Picks up one, but now the engage onto the top end. Yeah, there's the Photon, he wants to get himself a reset, but he won't get it in time. It's another one for one trade, so it's still two for three in favor. Never mind, four for two in favor of Astralis as Bo looks to try and maybe smite this one away. It's gonna be difficult. Can he kick out one, one, three? That's the question. Yes, he can. Now you can't go for this. Bo's on a mission. Bo takes down another, and Leader tries to clean it up. I mean, it definitely helps with the opportunity oh. to fight Kaiser over the wall. He goes over the wall, pops down his ultimate. They're going to see the Whirling Deck come in as Kobe did have to get himself back over the side. So he's going to put down his ultimate. 113 has no flash to get away from this, and Vitality find themselves an opportunity. Should be able to get this reset up. Flash over the wall. Flash Photon's going to stop him. Photon knows where he is, so he's going to be able to try and get this one fight going. I will say, Photon's going to be careful. That it was a big abduct that did not get hit. Now they're gonna try and steal away his ult, flash in, flash away. Kaiser needs to try and make sure he cannot get away. There is five members chasing you, leader. You are the carry of Astralis, they want dead. As Skarl comes back in, they do secure it up. Eight, two, and three now on Bo. But the mid lane tower is gonna go down for it. They sent everything in the kitchen sink up to that top end, and it gives the opportunity for Astralis to actually respond in kind with a mid lane turret. It's 4,000, 3,000 on the HP Perks of the Baron. Parks has been taken away off of this. Kobe's gonna cleanse away the little bit of CC. They're still on the bar and there's gonna be a TP coming in. That is leader joining back on the play. It's gonna be a complete flip, but Vitality have gone off it. They don't know which way they wanna go. It comes in 124 and Bo secures it. That was definitely a weirdest smite fight I've seen. Annie and Draven go down, Bo as well. Exactly what
what was going on. They kept an eye out for perks. They were never going to get flanked. Vitality do get the Baron, but like you said, it's a ton of issues with the big one line ultimates of the Maokai and the Nami. And well, TP came in here as Perks looks to try and take out 1 1 3. They are going to bring him down fairly decently, but they haven't got the consistent damage, and the Nautilus is dead. There's a good ultimate onto the backside, though, and 1 1 3 has gone down. They've killed all the Lucian as well. The Kai's got two. Leader goes golden, and you can see there's Finn trying to get more done on this backside. The Annie's been traded back. It's a 3 for 2 in favor of Vitality, a 4 for 2. And now the triple comes in. Finally, Vitality get themselves a fight, and they've been keeping the this game so chaotic. It has been a bonkers game, but Vitality find the pick, and now they still have the Baron buff there as well to make sure that they're able to push this one forward. Upset Photon going to focus on structures as Bow moves over to get that Ocean Dragon for themselves as well. This game is everything I could have wanted. Ocean Soul point here to Vitality. They get it all. And honestly, you're looking, and we've talked about the three items there Probably for them to assassinate somebody, so. We'll see with Bow on Vision there. It's going to be hard for them to really make this one work. Here we go. There's going to be Hulk coming in up straight off that one one three. Needs to try and get himself away. That's a good tidal wave on the four, though, as Photon and Bow make work on this back side. Kabe has nowhere to leave, but he finally gets himself away. It is going to be the Olaf jumping straight onto Upset, and he goes down. He's done his job, and even a little bit more. Gets everybody distracted to come back into it, so it's a one-for-one one train. And now Astralis on the back foot. Three men trying to step up against the worst part of Vitality to try and fight again. Perks has Flash and has Ultimate looking for Kabe and he finds him with no Soms! Perks perfectly positioned to take down the AD carry of Astralis. Leader can do nothing. It's a double kill going over to the Annie. And Younghoon is on the wrong side of the map. They're emoting. They're having a bit of fun because they know the inevitable. Should be able to finish off this Dragon. Still be able to get back and uh, keep the structures in check. And now what was already a bit of a... Put your eyes between the two junglers there. I'm going to see if you can tell ah. me where that 6,000 goes is going because that is literally 6,000 between the Wukong and the Maokai. That is an absurd lead right now because we're probably just waiting for one more item where Bo is going to have two items ahead of 113. And now they're onto the inhibitor. You got Photon pushing mid. Photon still has ultimate to join in very quickly if Astralis do try and make a play here. Already moving across. Yep. Ultimate blown and Terror gone. Yep, Terror gone. Ultimate, yeah, just to kind of bring in the cavalry. Everyone gets a nice little speed boost. You got two double cannon minion. They can move back in towards this mid lane. You can see Leader trying to clear this one out. Vitality and a little bit overzealous here. They will eat themselves on the tree roots and the tidal wave, but they're gonna go straight in on the back side. One one three force a flash wave, but can he get away? That is the question. Good hook there on the Kabe. You force him to uh, cleanse. There's two kills already. Your front line is dead. Kabe has nowhere left to be. He's trying to kite this one out as best he possibly can. Bo goes underneath the laser of the fountain, but it looks like Vitality have finally cracked open this base. It was scrappy. It was hella chaotic, but they got the job done. It was a banger of a game, but unfortunately, Kabe just isn't allowed to play the game. And now Vitality will take game one in this series. Zaya has that ultimate as well to try and escape. So it definitely feels like Bo, a lot of his focus is going to be on trying to play around this bot side, making sure they can set up for success in the early stages, and then letting Photon, who's got the counter pick and the jacks here, scale into the later portion of the game where he's going to be able to play against Finn. See, but the jungler's already moving into each other as well. Top lane, going to see a flash burn there by Finn as the jungler's going into 1v1 as well. It's Zin Zhao versus Lee Sin. There's going to be a little bit more damage. Flash for flash. Does he get another one? Bo goes back in! And Bo says, get that! Jungle. Top side though, Photon incredibly low. They know that Bo had to reset, so they're on a timer. They're on and a Jung who wants to make it happen. No flash here for Photon. He gets hooked up, taken down. Finn collects that kill. Punish Finn, who has no summoner spells, and the wave is gonna crash. Leader trying to move his way up. Yeah, he's got no flash, got no ghost, and he's got nowhere to go. Finn is taking more auto attacks, and was he re? Getting a it's a little bit difficult when you're on a Lee Sin to have that high of an impact. Right? Like, he just looked those two kills make him look easy. <laughs> Try and go in for any kind of big play right now. And Perks might still think about it right now. Younghoon, I'm not sure you wanted to go for that. He flashes away, but the Sonic Wave lands, and Bo gets his third kill. The dragon. He's got to play weak side, though. You can see him. He really wants to put himself in position to get to take this wave, and that little bit of hubris is going to be in his downfall. He flashes away. 1-1-3 one, one, tries to get himself out of turret aggro. They're going to be able to get this one. Photon 1v3! Almost taking everyone else out with him, but nobody else dies from Astralis. They do get the successful kill. It took three flashes, but they get the job done, and now Bo moving in onto this bottom side. Oh, they get the perfect kick back, and that means Kobe has to go into an immediate uh, ultimate to try and keep himself safe. That's going to be another kill for Bo, and they do give one over to the Zeri as well. TP from Leader just too little, too late. Oh, and with the Rift no. Herald, Leader had lost his flash top. 
And now Perks with the ultimate. Hachani comes down and says, hey, leader, how's it going? Doesn't look like you're having the best of times. See a lot. Oh, that's going to be a trade back, though, for leader. Does get a massive amount of shutdown. That was 700 gold, so still a one for one in that regard. Lots of plates going over to Vitality in this bot side as well, but Vitality still coming out the better of the trade, you would imagine. Well, Fiend got all those plates in the top side. Is 113 in trouble? He is in a lot of trouble, but they're going to see a lot of damage coming out from this turret. They're trying to just kite this one out, and Vitality. Up here now, Kaiser trying to see if he can help out Photon and Bo as the rest of Astralis are making their way towards this top side. They really want to try and put their their strong side of the map to be top. They're going to jump in, flash away as Kaiser now getting caught up himself because his quickness stolen away from him. Can he get away? That's the question. Looks like he can for the moment. 113 jumps in as we can see Photon with the counter strike. It's a four man lock up. They can continue to CC everybody down. And Bo, it's just taking everyone out on a silver platter. The Viking cannot last any longer. Your history is done. Triple kill for Bo. Finally starting to get to see that carry performance I mean, from the Chinese jungle. Absolutely. Like, this is what we were excited for. This is what we saw when this guy was kind of announced right now. The quickness comes in. We're going to see Kabe going up into the feathers. The Q lands. He's very powerful, and he goes straight in on top of it. They're going to try and get the kick back. The Q again! It's the bow show right now, and Vitality are loving it. Kame didn't stand a chance. The flash in to get the range, and even Vitality is still pushing him bot side. What is... Where was this, this bow? This is my man? bow. This yeah. is my bow right now. <laughs> this is the bow that I casted in the LPL. And this is why he was so, so in my head, was just going to be able to really having the answers right now. So where do you want to see them try and, well, we might have to see an answer here. Bow looking for a 1v1 against leader. This is going to be the ultimate of the Jacks. That was stolen away. Konaku does miss back, but he kicks him back anyway. He's got the cooldown reduction. Perk saying leave that 1v1 alone because he wants the damage. Bow with a kill. Can he get another one? No, he cannot, but he gets himself away. The flash forward and shut down. Goes over to the OLAP, but you've had to invest almost everything into this fight now. The Annie has enough damage to take down the OLAP. While this is happening, Photon's playing PvE. And the fact that Vitality keep winning these uneven fights is just not making things easy for Astralis. Photon shoving in the top. Vitality now get to move to mid. Down. Vitality look like they're just kind of going to give this one up. Although, as I say, that hey. TP now from Perks. TP going to be coming in here to see if they can maybe catch somebody out. There is a flash available for Perks, and he has got his ultimate as well. Bo is here, and Bo wants more to go. He's going to jump into 113s. He's forced to use that Crescent Guard. He gets charmed up anyway as Leader gets himself taken very, very low. The Xin Zhao is dead. Leader has fallen as well. Photon on the flank, looking to see if he can get a counter strike. Young Hoon can't go anywhere. He has nothing to do except just wait. They want to make it to the top four. I mean, they want to not just make it. They want to stamp themselves in and say, look, we are. A little bit of whack a mole. We can see there. Bo looking for a 1v1 against 1 1 3. He's going to be able to get it a little bit. There is a Crescent Guard. No Crescent Guard, I should say. Bo, he down. wants it as much as anybody else. He heard you say he wouldn't get 12 kills. If he gets these two, he will get it. He's 1v2. What Bo is happening? Knows. He has his team with him. And they will be kill stealing away from him. Perks gets himself a double because he used his flash. And Vitality still have another member on the bot side. Every time they take the fights, you got to look. The other run, lanes. As run, run. You can't be here right now. Flash away, but you've just given the Olaf over. He's going to find himself going in. Oh my lord, I thought he was going to land a Sonic Wave. But yeah, the Zeri's ending the game bot side. The Zeri is getting himself an inhibitor turn while you're losing members left, right, and center. I mean, upset just like, yeah, lads. Big thumbs up. Agree with what you're doing. Photon, I'm just can, we chill. can we yeah, swap? Can we swap Photon? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, nice, cool. Nice. Thanks. I mean, neither have TP, so you might as well have this bit of push 80 carry. So, Vitality now, just in a fantastic spot. Dragon and 10 seconds, but do you really care? You have Baron, you have push, you have complete control, and they're just going to continue to put the hurt down onto Astralis. We're going to see Yonghu looking for something here. They put down the ultimate onto Bo, but not really going to have anything else. He goes back in. Bo has another kill to his name. He is taking over this game, and there's nothing Astralis can do. Does he take the cue? He wants this. He was moving towards it. He really wanted to go back in on top of that. But Yong Hoon on the flank of ages, the flank of gods. But you cannot flank if your base is destroyed, Dagda. <laughs> He's a long way from home. A vitality aren't going to stop. 22 and a half He's minutes. He's off in space. And, and Nexus turret falls. Leader desperately trying. Kabe trying to work with Finn. But the terrors are falling, Oshin. Yeah, they're going down. You got one last ditch effort here from the side of Astralis to try and keep themselves in this. But it looking like with all the damage, all the gold, all the items, 
and all the pressure in the world, Vitality are just toying with them right now. They still have Baron for 35 seconds. It's, well, they need a wave and it's about to roll on through. Astralis trying to kill him, but it's gone. It's, Perks catches him. Yep, they're going for it. It's leader going back onto the fountain. They do land a Sonic wave here. They're going to jump in under Kabe and they're going to get another kill. He said game one was a warm up. Game two was the real deal. And Vitality 2-0 Astralis in the fastest game of groups.